Hello everyone and welcome. It is good to see you once again. I'm really excited about this interview. I am joined by a friend, a young man I had the privilege of meeting just a few years ago up in London. This is my good friend Joseph Njuru. He's a great man of God. Uh, but rather than me introduce him, Joseph, would you, would you introduce yourself and just tell us what God is doing in and through your life right now? Yes. Um, so as you've heard, my name is Joseph Njuru. Um, and um, I run the ministry called School of Evangelism. And it's simply what we do is we train up young people, mm -hmm. um, train up people to learn how to evangelize and yeah. learn how to go out there and spread the gospel and be ones that are sent into the world to you know, fulfill the Great Commission. And also we you know, also go out and do outreaches with them, um, do four week courses and stuff like that. Also the youth pastor at Elam Wimbledon, which is a great privilege to work with those young people there. Um, which we're seeing immense growth in, and um, God has been amazing in, in that, and so yeah. That's awesome. Ely Wilberton, fantastic church, yes. fantastic no, church. Awesome church. Wonderful move. So uh, I want to ask you a little, about, a little bit about your story. So you kind of grew up in the church, yep. but it wasn't always kind of the, the, the easiest experience for you. You didn't quite gel with it at a young age. So tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, no, 100%. It was, you know, when you're born into a Christian um, household, it's mm. like I go to church on Sunday. Um, yeah. And I think uh, in, my, in my household, it, was, um, it wasn't explained to me, but it was told to me rather than explained. Right. So I knew why I was going to church or I mm. knew the story of why I was going to church. Mm. Um, I, you know, I could read, uh, recite scriptures. I could, you know, um, recite probably sermons that my dad has um, said. Mm. Um, but it felt like I was not going for my own will. And I think um, as I grew older, I grew out of wanting to go. Um, yeah. And when I had other priorities or other things I liked and had a desire for, mm -hmm. um, like et cetera, like football, mm -hmm. um, and it's on a Sunday, you're like, yeah. oh, it draws your eye away <laughs> from something that yeah. you're, you're not really fixated on. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, so growing up, you know, the church was lovely. You know, it was nice mm -hmm. to go to church on Sunday. But um, there was, I felt like there was always a better thing that I could do um, at, the, at that young age. Um, and yeah, so. Mm, mm, sure. So the, kind of speak to us about that moment where you kind of had that real encounter with God and mm -hmm. saw him, you know, moving in power in, in your life. Yeah. So literally um, what happened was uh, uh, a friend of mine kept on asking me, oh, can you come to this like um, worship night? Can you come yeah. to this worship night? So he had just got saved mm -hmm. um, and he kept asking me, asking me, he's like, oh, can you come to these worship nights? Um, and he yeah. would keep messaging me. He was persistent. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that it shows us to, you know, as believers, you know, don't stop, you know, even though people aren't responding, just don't stop. And he was persistent. Mm -hmm. um, but I had football every time or football training every time that he would right. ask me. But one week I had no football training and I had nothing to do. Mm -hmm. And I was literally like dead bored at home. And I was mm -hmm. like, I need to get out of the house. Yeah. Um, and then he messaged me right at that moment. Mm -hmm. And as he messaged me, I said, OK, I'm going to get on the bus and I'm going to go. And yeah. so anyway, I got out, got ready, went. And in that moment, I, I went to this conference and I never I never in, in, encountered like a great miracle. But mm -hmm. I think I encountered my greatest miracle, right. and which was um, seeing a room full of young people mm -hmm. purely worshipping Jesus. Wow. And then I, it, something in me sparked that I'd never seen before. It mm -hmm. was like so, the, something in me, a desire sparked in me. I was like, now I understand mm -hmm. what it is. Mm -hmm. um, and from that moment, yes, I went home and still did the same old things. Mm -hmm. um, but I had, there was a heart posture that had, had, yeah. had been start, a fire had been started. Mm -hmm. um, and then I was speaking, you know, to these young people mm -hmm. um, and they, you know, told me to watch certain things and, you know, uh, preachers. Um, and then I came across Todd White. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. And so when I came across Todd White, um, you know, he's all about the signs and wonders and miracles. And mm -hmm. I was watching one of his services, I believe. Um, mm -hmm. And I'm seeing all these miracles. And then in an interview, he says it's as simple as just go lay hands on the sick. Yeah. And, you know, they will be they will recover. Mm -hmm. um, so literally what I did is the week after mm -hmm. I saw somebody sick and I was like, I want to see what <laughs> is like what he said, if it's yeah. true. Okay. And I went and prayed for them. And, you know, they I, I believe they was it. Um, they had a, a something wrong with their hand. Right. Um, and when they had that um, sing, I went and prayed for them. And guess what they said? 
oh no it didn't happen and oh. so i was like i was like you know what i still believe it you know you go you know when you go home you you're gonna get healed mm-hmm. um but then 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 the next i next time i watched todd white he said he it took him about nine or 99 times or on something like that yeah, yeah. before he saw his first healing wow and that really gave nine times yeah 99 wow. times i was like it is a coincidence that's the next video i watched okay. and i was like i could have been discouraged in that moment but that really encouraged me you're like okay it's mm-hmm. true but maybe you won't you know you know see the result i didn't want to overthink it yeah um so anyway um the next time i was out um i, I came across a boy and this boy was on, on one crutch he he was on his way to recovery yeah. um, but he still needed one crutch mm-hmm. um i prayed for him and then as soon as i prayed for him he was like no way and the way he act, like was so like yeah. excited made me think that he was lying to me because <laughs> of how excited he was like he was so excited um and then to test him i was just like oh can i take your crutch then mm. um and I, I i took it um and i believe my the instagram video is still there wow. and I, I think i was just walking through uni and i was literally just like <laughs> yes like so you, you took his crutch yeah away. literally yeah i took <laughs> his crutch away because oh, i was goodness. like i didn't believe that he was I, he was so excited yeah, and now i understand yeah. why he was excited but yeah. then i was like are you just like playing with me are oh you? wow but so i just asked him that question yeah. and he, he he gave it to me um but yeah in that moment then i realized that you know god is there's there's more to god mm-hmm. than you know just going to church on sunday mm-hmm. um and literally from that moment i i seeked his presence i i, I seeked who he was in his mm-hmm. fullness i i understood now oh i read my word not just to read it, but I read it so I can get ac- and not get access, but get be drawn closer to Him, mm. um, and mm. so I can, you know, be, sit at His feet. I, I pray yeah. so I can sit at His feet. Mm-hmm. I pray so I can be with Him. Yeah. Um, and it's not just oh praying for the sake of praying or or reading my word for the sake of reading my word, mm-hmm. but it's so the fact that I can just be with Him. Wow. Um, and when I understood that revelation, yeah. and I understood His presence, and yeah. I felt His presence, mm-hmm. and like I knew his presence was everything. Mm, it mm. it changed everything in me to yeah. be like, yeah, this is yeah. this is this is what I need to be in. Um and the funny thing is about a year later, um somebody prophesied to me and said, Um, you never you never got saved because of going to church, but you mm. you got saved when you found the thing that you were born for. Miracles, wow. signs and wonder. And literally yeah. I think that's I think one one of the main things that you know God is using me for in this time is you know to see people saved but through mm. the power of God mm. um you know mm. to kind of like Elijah when he said to the prophets of Baal yeah. okay cool you know bring bring mm. bring all your pray to your gods tell them to answer by fire and now I'll, I'll wait for you guys and when you're done I'll tell my god to answer yeah. by fire and I think it's that we're in that time where it's like you have to prove it mm. you know mm. you have to prove it um you and do. you know the scripture says um a wicked and perverse generation will um go after signs and wonders mm. um and miracles and you know people that people see that as okay yeah people would run after mm. that because they're perverse mm. but the some the way i see it sometimes is that there's a wicked and perverse generation out there yeah and yeah. in order for them to see christ they mm. need they need a sign and a wonder. Yeah, they're going to yeah. seek that. That's what mm-hmm. they're going to seek. Mm-hmm. And they need people that will mm-hmm. show them that, yeah. hey, this is the sign. Yeah. This is the proof. Um, even though that's, you know, that we, we go and tell them, hey, this is the proof. But this is, this is what else there is. Absolutely. But still, yeah. there is a wicked and perverse generation that we're living in that needs, that are seeking mm-hmm. the sign and a wonder. Mm-hmm. That's and true. are we going to be those people that yeah. will show them that sign and wonder? That's true. That's wonderful. G- going back to something you said, because because you move so powerfully in evangelism, is you had a friend that kept on nagging you to come to church. Literally, yeah. And so many people that I know, that's how they came to the Lord. Is, yep. is someone else out there, another believer, Literally. they had that person on their heart and they just kept going. Yep. I mean, what would you say to anyone who's watching that they have a, an unsaved friend or a friend that's just not right with God and they're on their heart and yeah. they don't know what to do with that. You yeah. know, what, what, what would you say to them? I honestly would say don't stop. Mm. Don't stop. Um, don't stop sharing. Yeah. Don't stop praying. Yeah. Don't stop. Literally don't stop because when you understand that, you know, mm. it's 
it's as simple as a message mm -hmm. that they will they will they won't be angry at you for it or yeah. and even if they are angry at you for it um just send it anyway because yeah. it's like they one day they 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 will thank you for it mm -hmm. um and mm -hmm. i i believe um you know when the scripture says you know the the um the harvest is plenty but the laborers are few that's right um straight after it says so um oh it says basically pray it says mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. pray yeah. Um, and I think one of the main things we need to do is pray for them. Mm. But beyond that prayer, we need to be like, God, OK, what things can I do physically? Mm. Um, mm. Because, you know, if we just pray, if we just stayed in this church and prayed, yeah. Yeah. God would move. Mm. But mm. but the moment we step out and be like, OK, God, um, yeah. we've just prayed. Yeah. What do you want? Where do you want us to go? OK, mm. maybe mm. God says, hey, I just want you guys to stay here. People are going to come in. Yeah. That's, that's possible. Um, but. Ask God for the next move because mm, as mm. soon as you get that next move, you understand that you sending that message is not in vain, but mm. it's, there's an end goal for it. Yeah, um, yeah. And literally, again, just don't stop. Just yeah. keep keep being light. Yeah. Make sure your everything that you do mm -hmm. is with love. Mm. Show them that Christianity is is not just a Sunday thing. It's yeah. a lifestyle I live. And, yeah, yeah, and yeah. So. That's wonderful. There's something else that you said as well that really touched me is that you, the miracle for you was seeing all of those young people together yeah. praising and worshiping God. Yeah. And the people that we are around has such an effect on our yeah. lives and on our souls. 100%. I mean, how important do you think it is to, to make sure, especially for any young people watching, yeah. that they're surrounded with you know good godly people that raises them up? 100%. Um, I think it's super important. Mm. I think it's it's super important because you are you know it's it's not scripture but it says you're a product of the like you know your five yeah, friends around yeah. you um and i think whatever where whoever you're around will influence you so much mm -hmm. like, let, let's let's put it like this actually your family mm -hmm. have so much impact on who you are yeah not yeah. just because of dna mm -hmm. but because the, your accent your the language you speak, you know, the um, the the food you like, yeah. the um, the the area you live in is mm. all determined by because you are born into this family, yeah. um, and they they carve you because not just because of what they tell you, but because mm. of what you hear. Yeah, you know, a child's first words are normally by by what they hear, mm. and that's why you know you always get like parents saying, "Oh, like mama or dada," because yeah. they want them to repeat yeah. that after uh -huh. them, and so it's a consistent thing that is fed so when you're around people that are mm -hmm. godly your righteousness is constantly um mm -hmm. portrayed um god is constantly spoken about um you know and these things are constantly shown you will be eventually molded into somebody that's godly and yeah. if you are already you know a godly person mm -hmm. it will keep you it will sustain you mm -hmm. um you know iron sharpens iron yeah you know yeah very we, true we constantly need that sharpening yeah. And I realized as well, when I evangelize by myself, you know, mm. it's good. But when I evangelize mm. with my brothers, mm. it's so much better. Yeah. And, you know, it's it's kind of like that. Um, it's that godly, um, godly um, spark that mm. just, you know, fires you guys up. Oh, yeah. And yeah. even um, it, in the scripture, it says, um, covet, covet, you know, that those gifts are, um, are upon um, the, the others that, yeah. you know, yeah. like, in a good way yeah, um, yeah and so sometimes there's a godly competition mm -hmm. that where you're out with your brothers sometimes we we look at each other and say okay cool let's see um how many sick people we can heal today mm -hmm. and it's to some people it might seem like oh what's this mm -hmm. but it's like in us it's like we're we're sustaining something where yeah we're, yeah. we're burning that hunger we're so hungry to see somebody saved mm -hmm. that we're like mm -hmm. in any means possible we're yeah. gonna do this and That's if it awesome. if it looks weird to other people yeah but people around you is super yeah. important That's um, awesome. it's super important yeah. yeah and and you've taken your friends and, and and other people that you kind of miss with and you've gone on out into the streets and you actually yeah. went to evangelize and witness at carnival in london yeah, tell us yeah, about yeah. that so yeah we um this was yeah about i think just before covid uh -huh. um we um went to not Hill carnival wow um and it was um you know sodom and gomorrah <laughs> as, was, as yeah. um as as the bible would say uh -huh. um but we we understood that you know light can't be light and light we That's we true. need we need light and darkness amen and so we said yeah we're gonna we're gonna go and yeah. we're gonna 
Christians may say stuff, but we're going to go anyway. Mm. Mm. Um, and so we were praying for people. We saw, um, you know, numerous testimonies. Mm. Um, I'm going to share, I think I'll share two. And yeah. so um, the, the first one was um, there was a lady and she was mm. walking and she had a brace on her knee. Yeah. Um, and so we were like, yeah, we're going to pray for her. Like, mm -hmm. you know, we just knew that, yeah, God is going to mm -hmm. do something. So we prayed for her. And she was like, oh, I'm not really feeling anything. Mm -hmm. um, so she could, she, could, she could take her brace off right, so to, yeah. she can test it. Uh -huh. um, she was brave enough to do it and she, mm -hmm. she did it. But she was like, no, I need it. Like, very much need it. Like, yeah, it's, yeah. it's not healed. Okay. And so we like, okay, give us two more times. Mm -hmm. We prayed again. She's, nah. Prayed again, nah. Mm -hmm. And we're like, okay, you know what? I, God is going to heal you. Mm -hmm. Nothing in that moment could put us down. We've, yeah. We had seen, you know, we had, we, we yeah. had, our spirits were so high. Mm -hmm. So we were like, you know, we believe God is going to do it. And we just we had, had that faith. That faith. Yeah, yeah. And so she walks that way. We walk this way. We're yeah. carrying walking. We're like, yeah, next person mm -hmm. we're going to see. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then about 30 seconds later, we've probably walked about this much apart. Yeah. Um, we just hear screaming. Ah, ah, you guys come back. Wow. And then we turn around. And she's doing squats wow. without her brace on. She's running Lord. like, and we're thinking, what is going on? And we're yeah. just there laughing. We're like, <laughs> what is going on? Like, amazing. everybody can see this. And we're yeah. like, they're not understanding why she's praising. But mm -hmm. then she's like, yes, I've been healed. I've been healed. Uh -huh. um, and it was just an awesome experience to see her. Because um, after she was like, she does sports and stuff okay, or yeah, gym, yeah. So, something like that. And it, she was able to go back to it after wow. this. Um, and she even felt a bit like uh, uh, guilty and she was like, oh, you know, what? I'm going to stop drinking and I'm going to go back home. Like she was mm. she felt convicted um, and then we right. shared yeah. shared the gospel with her. Mm -hmm. And I believe that, you know, she received received wow. Christ that day. Wow. Um, and, you know, she really was changed because mm. of a simple, simple thing that we did wow. um, by just following the scriptures. Praise the um, Lord. Yeah, and in, in the middle of Notting Hill Carnival. In the middle of Notting Hill Carnival, wow. where our people are like, you know, drinking, yeah. drunk, um, yeah. you know, uh, uh, doing all sorts of things. Yeah. Um, and literally, God touched her. Wow. And God said, God, um, God said, today you're going to be healed. That's amazing. And it literally yeah. just took our obedience to go yeah. and, and yeah. be there. Wow. Um, the second one is, um, this is a prophetic one, mm -hmm. um, where literally we're walking. Um, mm -hmm. And as we turn, so not only carnival is like a, a load of roads put together. There's yeah. lots of things. Mm -hmm. So we turn and we're kind of winding down now, like, because mm -hmm. we're like kind of tired. Yeah. And so yeah. we're like, oh, like, you know, the human side is coming yeah. in. And like, oh, like, OK, let's go home. Like, uh -huh. um, and we turned. And as soon as I turned, I felt like grief on me. Right. Um, and I was like, that's weird. Mm. Like, maybe I just need to get home. I thought, I thought I am getting attacked by the, the demons in the little carnival. It's oh, time God. to run home. Yeah, yeah. But then, like, then it's like in front of me, or not in front of me, in, in a vision. But this vision was imagination, my imagination. Right. Okay. So it's not like I could physically see it, yeah. but it was my, in my yeah. imagination, pic mm. a picture was being made. Mm -hmm. um, and I saw a coffin and I'm like, what? what's going on? Like, yeah. I've, I've not really seen, like, See, like seen stuff like this mm -hmm. um and then um a girl that we was with is like um i really sense the spirit of death here wow and then i'm like okay there's something okay it's this is mm -hmm. not this is not me it's yeah it's god is trying to communicate to us mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. let's um went back to like prophetic trading just like okay mm -hmm. let's let's sit like cal calm mm -hmm. down ask god what do you want to do mm -hmm. um and that's the best thing to ask to do when you know you're in a place where you don't really understand what is mm. being shown to you and you're just like yeah. god what are you doing ask him mm. ask him a question so he can respond yeah that's good it's like a normal conversation and mm. um then you know as soon as um i'm just we're turning my eyes are fixated on this mm. um this lady and i'm just like why is it so fixated mm. anyway just go to her and literally the words that come out of my mouth are did your uncle die wow. and i'm like where did I get, you know, wow. as soon as you're trying to yeah. grab yeah. everything out, you're like, how, yeah. how, that's yeah. not, Where but did it, come from? it just came out. And yeah. so I asked her and then she breaks down. Wow. And literally she said that Tuesday, mm. um, I think the Not In A Carnival was on the Thursday, that Tuesday, her, mm -hmm. um, 
uncle had died and she wasn't even meant to come not in all carnival but mm. she said i'm going to come and drink myself my sorrows away okay. and then after i'm going to commit suicide wow and it was literally she was devastated yeah. her friend next to her didn't even know that that she oh, was going to no. do that thing yeah. but she just invited her friend can i or can you come along so yeah. you can be with me but in that moment we got to pray for her we got mm. to you know show her that you know yeah. how did we know this it's not mm. us it's god yeah. god's brought us all the way here mm. just for you like mm. this day is over it was just for you uh-huh. like and we did literally just prayed for her encouraged her mm. one of the girls took her numbers and literally it was from that moment she was like i believe that the peace of god was over her um and i believe the girl took her on a journey mm-hmm. um and it was just awesome to see how god can speak and save a soul yeah. um from from death literally wow. And Praise the Lord. It was um it was awesome and wow. yeah so that yeah. not in all carnival was awesome and I think yeah. I think yeah definitely another one to be going back yeah. to and to think just your obedience in following the Lord to a yeah. place where most Christians wouldn't go yeah for one person that was the difference between life and death hundred percent that's definitely. so wonderful it that's is. amazing definitely. so so you've seen some awesome things and you you know you're out there on the streets working with other young people up in London, going to some of these awesome places and, and just seeing you know, the Lord move. Yeah. What do you kind of feel is happening in this generation right now? To anyone kind of our age and younger that's watching, yeah. you know, what, what, what do you sense the Spirit of the Lord is doing in this younger generation of believers here in the UK right now? Yeah, no, I, had, um, I believe right now in this generation, like God is raising up people that are you know so fiery for god mm, um you know mm. so like there's no other desire it's just jesus 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 and Amen. um no if it's in the corporate world it's jesus if it's in you know um wherever I, it's university it's jesus mm. um but i think what god wants to do now is you know bring that all of the this generation together um mm. and not just the younger generation but he also wants to bring that bridge yeah. As, as we were saying before, that yeah. the bridge of the mm. old and the young, yeah. uh, because he wants to see a united front mm. where the, the the mantles will be passed, the, you know, the, mm. the 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 revivals will be stewarded. Mm. No longer will it be moves; it will be just this is life. Yeah, because yeah. you know, revi- revival is only revival because it it once something was dead and it's now re- revived. That's um, good. But That's if we good. can stay in that place of revival, mm. then it will be something that we live, mm. um, and it will be mm. something that is always consistently there that wow. we consistently have. And if we, um, I, something you said before this, mm. the interview is if we can learn the 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 art of passing it on to yeah, generations yeah. and generations mm. and understanding that this revival is not just about the area it's not just about um the church but it's mm. actually about the next generation it's yeah, about how right. can we get this to our um grandchildren our grandchildren's children our grandchildren's mm. children mm. how can we make sure that this is sustained till yeah. then because yeah. what god wants to do is he wants to take us to a place where it's all about him in mm, this nation mm. and even in other nations that's right um but i i believe in especially in the united kingdom it's a time where the generation should come together mm, mm. and generation should literally go for jesus and say jesus we've given you everything mm, take over mm. this land um wow. and i believe we're going to start seeing stadiums filled again Praise we're going to start Lord. seeing um you know football moved away from sunday yeah we're, we're yeah. going to start seeing um you know shops all closed on sundays wow. and saying you know That's we good. need to be at church mm. and mm. you know if you if you imagine you know when the queen died every shop was closed yeah for a certain time mm-hmm. and you know that and we i love that because yeah. we you know we honor the queen and we're saying you know what the queen we, we're respecting you in this moment mm-hmm. you know as as we're laying you down let this be the thing now imagine for the queen of mm. the united kingdom now imagine for the king of kings wow. you know the lord of lords Wonderful. you know on a sunday when we're dedicating this day to yeah. him and we're saying you know even though we live every day like um we dedicate it to him but mm. this day we're saying this is for you jesus oh, every week you, jesus. and if we could just you know say church is this is church day this mm. is a day mm. where we worship you this is a day where we put up tents you know yeah and it's not it's not um maybe a tent in the summer but it's a tent f- that's going throughout the year yeah. wow I, I believe you know when when a younger generation and an older generation come together mm. we're going to see um ideas birthed mm. 
mm. that maybe younger generation believe that they can't do mm. because you know mm. hey, let's be real like the younger generation have a lot of ideas yeah. but they don't have the um the facilities to push it forward yeah and yeah, so the right. older generation um are that facility but also they're the ones that have the skills to actually say mm. you know what no joseph like if you go that way mm. we've mm. i tried that 10 years yeah. ago yeah and I went that way. And mm. honestly, if I'm telling you the truth, mm. I think you're going to end up in the same place where mm. I did mm. at, at a r crossroad. Yeah. Um, so if you go this way around mm -hmm. and you do this and this, mm -hmm. then I can I can guarantee you that you'll get it. That's and it's good. literally, as you were saying yeah. before, that the David killed one gi giant mm -hmm. and his men killed, um, just in the chapter after, killed yeah. five. Yeah, yeah. And so That's I wonderful. believe it's a time of unity that's so that good. we can see a nation ablaze. Amen. And we need that. You know, that's the only way that we're going to see a nation taken over. Literally, you yeah. Know, the, the only way a nation can come together for Jesus is if his people come together. No, I understand. But that's wonderful. Yeah. Th there's been such a wonderful time talking with you, Joseph. And thank, thank you. you so much for, for doing this. But what right. I'd love you to do yep. is I'd love you to look down this camera here yep. and just pray over that younger generation. Pray that yep. God would really do a miracle in their lives. Yes. You know, pray that a fire would be ignited to, you know, do what you've done and go out yep. into dark places but be yeah. that light just yeah. pray for them now and encourage them father lord right now i just pray father lord, for my generation mm. father i pray that followed you would ignite them followed anybody that's watching this right now father i pray you ignite them with a fire that follow the fire that won't stop burning oh god that mm. follow you will ignite them with the wisdom oh god follow to even steward this fire oh god father i even pray follow that every spirit of competition will um, come out of them father lord Amen. and that followed that they will say that father lord oh where are my brothers where are my um colleagues where are my um, um, students and uh, mates um, that I can come together with that we can see this fire spread out through um, mm. different areas that we're in follow I just pray right now even for the uni students follow that they will be set such a blaze oh god that follow their unis father lord will um call on them and say what are you doing um during um, the day what are you doing during this time because it's attracting so many people follow we pray that follow that you will set um a generation up father lord that follow that won't just know you but follow will know what to do follow with with the things that you have given them oh god mm. follow we just pray for a generation follow that will follow will read their word but follow will bring that word to life oh god Amen. that follow we will see like follow the like the days of acts Oh God, that we'll see, Father Lord, rooms filled, Father Lord, but Father Lord, that you will fill that room as well, oh God. Mm. That Father Lord, that you, we will see the streets filled, oh God, Father with um with people that are spreading the gospel, Father Lord, and people responding to the gospel, oh God. Father, we pray, Father Lord, that that um, signs and wonders will follow their life, oh God, as they preach your gospel, as they, they are set alight, oh God, that follow that you would um, send signs and wonders that will follow them to affirm your gospel, oh God, that follow as they preach your gospel, as they, they preach about you, oh God, that follow that you will allow them to follow, have that ability, follow Lord, to, to have that faith to say, you know what, I, I can see this sickness healed. I can mm. I can see this situation turned around. Yeah. I can I can see this life turned around. And so, follow right now. We ignite that fire. We follow. We say, follow. Set, send forth trailblazers, oh God. Amen. Send forth trailblazers, oh God. That mm. follow that will stand out from the crowd, oh God. Follow where they're in um, schools, Pablo, where there's nobody else that is um, are like them, or there's nobody else that is a Christian. Follow right now. We send out the trailblazer. That follow that you will just capture them, and that you will say that follow that they will be the ones followed that will bring forth um, a, a, a revival in their area oh god Follow, we even pray, Father Lord, for supernatural encounters, Father mm. Lord. Follow, mm. like you, you encountered Paul on the road to Damascus, Father Lord. Right now, we send encounters to people's houses right now. Amen. Follow that, they, they, they encounters, Father Lord, they will encounter you and they will never be the same. Mm. That follow that, they will encounter you and they will never be the same. The same way Paul was killing Christians. And, now, um, and then he started saving the lost. Father, right now we pray that that grace will come upon every young person watching this in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen, amen. and amen. 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 Well, God bless you. Thank you so much for watching today. Uh, and there'll be more information uh, about Joseph at the, at the end of the video. But God bless you. We love you. And we'll see you very soon. God bless. Bye.